Reports show one in 700 babies in the U.S. are born with a cleft lip or palate, which can be repaired, but not every parent can afford all the costs that come before and after surgery. That's why a Bay Area surgeon is working to raise money to help those families. Dr. Pat Ricaldi from the Florida Craniofacial Institute joins us now, along with Michelle Lassan and her two year old son, Luke. And, Doctor, we're going to start with you first because a big misconception is that um, people don't realize that this is not just a cosmetic dysfunction, that it, it's costly too because they would need special bottles and things. Is that right? Correct. Cleft lip and palate not only affects the way people look, but it certainly affects feeding, speech, hearing, and dental anomalies. And some of these extra costs aren't necessarily picked up by insurance companies. Right. And someone who knows all too well about that is our guest, Michelle, and her son, Luke, who is just adorable, by the way. He's take, checking out all the cameras. But so you actually had to use um, some of these bottles before Luke had his surgery, right? What was that like and how expensive are they? Well, uh, the, we were given some by mm -hmm. Dr. Ricaldi and her team, which was wonderful, but we did buy one on our own. It was like $25 for, wow. the, for the bottle. And as, as parents know, I mean, bottles, you need several bottles, so, mm -hmm. so that's a huge expense. Unless you want to spend all of your time hand washing dishes, yeah. <laughs> right. And so, um, and so Look. Doctor, you want people to donate Look money so that, that you can help provide <laughs> supplies, is that Look. correct? Correct. Look okay. And, and is there anything else Look. besides bottles? Or is it mainly the bottles and Look and sometimes that. transportation Look. gas cards are helpful. Sometimes there's social barriers that keep families and grocery items that might be helpful. Okay, and then I guess there's some expense after the surgery. Can you talk a little bit about that? Yeah, well, the whole treatment process is actually very complex and sort of behind the scenes requires multiple uh, disciplines, including social work and psych, in order to try to get them to surgery. And after surgery, they might require some therapies and whatnot. Okay. So uh, the surgical phases are very streamlined, but all the other things that go behind it uh, can get a little bit complex. So we really try to keep things as simple as possible for families. Okay, and Michelle, talk a little bit about what it was like um, for you and your family um, before the surgery and maybe right after. Well, uh, it's certainly very stressful. Right. It's really stressful. Uh, we, uh, we decided that we wanted to breastfeed as much as possible, mm -hmm. so uh, the feeding process, which any parent knows, you feed your kid every three hours, basically. Right. It was, you know, try to get them on the breast a little bit, then uh, give them a bottle, then get them to bed, and then pump, and then, you know, so it was right. a lot, and a lot. And it's challenging when he has the deformity, correct? Well, yeah. yeah, I mean, once you get the hand, a hang of the bottle, mm -hmm. that, that helps. Mm -hmm. um, we uh, we used some kinesio tape to help him do the motion right. better, the the sucking motion. Yeah. But okay. you know, pretty awesome when you can say my kid just right. can't suck. Yeah. <laughs> well, well, the, the whole reason we're here this morning, the reason Luke is here, because you were asking uh -huh. people to donate. Let's tell people where they can go. I think we have a a full screen on it. The, your location, they can drop off money or check or supplies or anything um, to where, where can they do, where can they donate these? The these Florida supplies. Craniofacial Institute's on 4200 North Armenia Ave. We're in Suite 3 and we have items for sale as well including uh, some tumblers here and little uh, right. white claws and items to purchase that we're going to be donating to St. Joseph's Craniofacial Center to help Perfect. children with this anomaly. Okay well thank you and good luck to you and your family as thank well. You. 